Okay, people, in this video tutorial, I would like to show you how to use Smooth Deformer Cinema called this Smoothing because in old version it was a little bit harder to use this. I will explain why. Why? I will explain it in a minute. I just will add because in I will add new material. Sorry. I just wanted to say this very quick. New PVR material which has been which has been implemented to this software because I use version R19 Studio, the newest version. You can also import library material. I believe Mac I will show you <coughs> in another video tutorial because I ma I have got my old version of program I can still use Cinema 4D R18 materials because in this version I did not have library materials okay <coughs> before I will take uh, before I will uh, use this modifier, you have to convert to edit every poly if you are a beginner. Now we select edit mode. I will subdivide my object. This version is much better. Lighting Cinema 4D version 19 is for me is definitely a lot better. Now what I can do, I will subdivide my mesh. Oh, this looks fantastic, but it's not subdivided because I need to subdivide mesh before I use this smoothing deformer. I don't know, I just will create extrusions. They are not smooth, but I need to prepare my polygon object before I will show you smoothing the former. In my old video, I was talking in Polish language, so uh, English and American people did not really have clue what I was talking about. In the interesting thing about it, you can still add a fong tag, which will make our object sm very smooth. It will look like it will look like it has been smooth, smoothed. But okay, now I have to. Do I have to use this modifier? Smoothing. And now pay attention because in old version I think I have to use proper order. You have to so you have to drag modifier to cube, not cube to modifier. Because this this doesn't work that way. And now let's see if I use uh, connect object plus delete because in this version this works okay. But in all the version you had to group objects together in order this modifier to work properly. But now it's not necessary in this version of Cinema 4D. So we have used the smoothing deformer. I will try to check if I can uh, apply only to certain faces. Oh no, how, how should I use... 
how should I use ring selection for faces? This will probably tell me. Yes, it tells me. But I have, I don't see shortcut. Ah, U and V. This tells me. Because I must check if I can use for selection of polygons this modifier. No, not really, but... Hmm... Why is not possible? <coughs> oh, stretch! This is quite interesting. Oh, stretch. Relax. Oh, this is also useful when you consider some other options, iterations. But why this not, why doesn't it apply to polygon faces? This should really apply to polygon faces. In 3DS Max you can apply modifier to selection. Like I don't know if this is possible in Cinema 4D. Okay, convert object plus delete. Now we have got smooth the object. I hope you like this video. This has been updated. Last video I published in 2017 in January. This is updated version.